Hey guys, it is time for my completed flip through of my Wreck This Journal. Um, this is actually the second Wreck This Journal that I've completed. A video of my old Wreck This Journal is still on my channel uh, if you want to check that out. If you're new to my channel, I have just finished a series of videos on this book uh, where I do about seven pages per episode and I just show the process of creating each page. So if you're interested to see how these pages were made, um, you can go through that series. It will still be up. One thing I will mention is that there are probably three pages, maybe four pages in here that are not complete yet, which I already explained at the end of my series why I haven't done them yet. Most of them involve using other people. Um, so you'll just have to excuse those blank pages. All right. Anyway, okay, let's get started. So here we've got the front cover, obviously, which I did a long time ago, but I'm still pretty happy with. Um, and then we have the title page, the intro cover, and the warning page with my Chow Chow drawing. Um, yeah, I really like Chow Chow puppies. I'm not really sure where that started, but I do. Instructions. This is the materials page, and then add your own page numbers. Crack the spine, which I did, but you know, it happens inevitably anyway, so. There's a lot of rainbow in this book, if you haven't already noticed. I like rainbow. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you remember, but I actually put coffee ice cream on this page and it looks just like it did the day I did this page. I was kind of concerned that it was gonna like rot through the page or turn green or something weird like that, but yeah, it looks fine. Nothing really happened to it. The Gushers page. This page is so white compared to all the other pages because I added a piece of paper on top of here. I'm not, sh oh, probably because the ice cream bled through. Yeah, but I did draw this Gushers thing and then made it Gushers themed. And there are holes poked through this. I don't know if you can see. Fat lines and thin. I did fingerprints with marker. Oh, this is still one of my favorite pages. Color this entire page. It's very bright. And cat, yeah. I did this page just recently, pressed flowers on it. Another cat, of course. Rubbings with a pencil. I just did puzzle pieces. This is always one of my favorite pages to do. It's just like really fun for some reason to just scribble. <laughs> and bam, zebra, rainbow, tear strips, and then underneath glue stapler tape these pages together and more rainbow zebra underneath. Draw lines while in motion. I was walking around while I drew these lines and then I just colored it in. If you can't read that, it says fill this page with circles and that took forever. Another page where I did put actual food on this page chew on this. This is the bite mark that I took and then there's like an extra piece of paper glued on the back and I colored it black so that's what that's about. And this page, I did this in my last Wreck This Journal too um, and I've noticed that a lot of people since have done this. Um, I just stapled in a little clear pocket and it's for all of the pages that you have to rip out um, because I want to keep them with the book. We have, they make a paper funnel. We have the paper plane, which I just watercolored. And journal golf, tear out and crumple. Interesting looking flowers. And this is the page that you put through the wash. And I drew a washing machine on the back. Wrap something in this page. I wrapped this, it's a paint chip. I licked this page with Fun Dip. This is a weird page. Uh, the one word I chose was this. I 
Don't know why. I get in weird moods sometimes. And this is the string that I use to swing the journal wildly. Pick up the journal without using your hands. This is one of my favorite pages. These guys don't have hands, so they're like... Yeah, anyway. Compost this page. I feel like nobody really knows what to do with this page. Um, I, I attempted to follow the directions. I ripped out half of the page, buried it, and left it buried for a few days, and then I dug it up. Probably can't read that, but it's still a really ugly drawing. I didn't feel like actually putting like gum and honey and marshmallows in my book. Um, so I just drew them and then I coated both pages in glue so that I was actually technically following the directions. Some doodling. Make a paper chain. Collect fruit stickers. This is actually one of my favorite pages. I don't know, it's just... It's very clean and nice looking. Office supplies, these are post-its, these little triangles, and then I put paper clips on the edges. Bring this book in a shower. I wasn't actually taking a shower because I did this on video, but it did get wet in the shower. Uh, this wasn't actually the original page. I had something different here before. I don't exactly remember what it was, but I do remember that I put this over top of a different uh, different drawing. If you look back in the series, you can probably find out what that original drawing was. This is actual dirt, by the way. Test page, and she's taking a test, just in case you don't get the um, the drawing there. Drip something here. And I sewed scrump, a drawing of scrump onto this page and I sewed the button eyes and her hair and everything. It's from Lilo and Stitch. Random newspaper page. This is a random newspaper under this drawing. Grocery lists, these are actual grocery lists that I collected over a long period of time. And these pages look pretty similar, I feel like. <laughs> um, put your stamps here. Yep. Cover this page with white things. I wanted to do something different, so I decided to do a snow page as my cover this page with white things. The snow is the white. Thing. but yeah this page I didn't actually do on camera I never finished it I guess I don't know got borrowed pens from my family I guess and then I scribbled but I never did anything on this page I don't know if I will maybe I will I don't know and I did this on camera make a mess clean it up And it says to doodle over top of the cover and blah, 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 which I obviously did. Page of good thoughts. I think most people write down good thoughts, which I thought about doing, but I just thought it would be cool to just draw a bunch of things that were good thoughts. And I really like this page. And these hearts were made with a cut potato. Here's another page that's not done. Ask a friend to do something destructive. Yeah, I just haven't gotten around to doing that yet. We'll see. Write carelessly. And this is all just, I guess, stream of consciousness is what it's called. I don't know. This is covering personal information, so you can't really see what the page looks like, but it's just all random, like, sentimental stuff. Cut through several layers. And I did cake because it has layers. And this doesn't smell like anything anymore. Snow cone. I did this multiple times. 
another page that's not done because it requires other people to do it. Collect your pocket lint and this is all pocket lint from my hoodies. Trace your hands. And this actually went kind of weird. Um, I did this page back when I was using like regular ballpoint pens and I must have used like a weird page or a weird pen on this page because it turned it like almost bled blue. This one is fine and that's how it looked originally but then this one got weird. I'm not sure why. It doesn't bother me too much honestly. It's fine but just pointing it out draw with glue and this is I did draw this with glue and then I outlined it and I did various substances here obviously my boring event was cleaning the cat box and obviously the book is kind of falling apart in some spots that will happen it's kind of unavoidable um yeah I didn't feel like actually putting my hair in the book because I think it is kind of dis disgusting. So I just painted with my hair and this background like splotchy blue paint. Yeah, this is a photo of me that's really not very flattering, but I colored over top of it with colored pencils and made myself like all rainbow and alien looking and I think honestly it looks better now. <laughs> draw lines using abnormal writing utensils. These were the lines that I started with. Oh, this is actually another page that I haven't done just because this is the fill in this page when you're really angry and usually I do wreck this journal when I'm like in a good mood and happy. I don't really feel like doing it when I'm angry so in the past two years I haven't found an opportunity to do this page. I am left-handed and I think a lot of people then expect me to cross this out and put right hand but you know it doesn't say with your wrong hand or with your non-dominant hand it says with your left hand so I just kept it these pages where it gives you an activity I do actually do it I just also decorate it so this is like in addition to finding a way to wear the journal I also decorated it because that's fun this page is a sign. What do you want it to say? It says, be original, be happy, be nice. Which, I don't know where that came from. I think I just made that up because that's what I wanted to say that day. Create a non-stop line. It's fine. Space for negative comments. All this writing in the background is just negative stuff and smear the lines, which I did. They didn't get as smeared as I thought that they would. I used watercolor pencils. Page for four letter words, and I actually wrote pear twice. I wrote pear, pear. I don't know why. <laughs> that was an accident, and somehow I didn't realize it until I was completely finished with the page. But yeah, I wrote it twice. Other than that, I really like this page. A page from a magazine and then I just added these little drawings to match with it yeah very interesting color scheme right with the pen in your mouth I wrote this all with the pen in my mouth give away your favorite page which I never actually do the ones where it's like give away this page or sell this page because I don't want to <laughs> so I just sign ownership over to whoever and so technically they own that page so I'm technically following the directions but I don't actually physically get rid of it and I actually haven't chosen somebody to give it away to yet but I will do that eventually and they'll just sign their name there oh if you want to see what page 15 is it's this one Right backward, I wrote rainbow backward. Document time passing, I just did the seasons. This is all internal monologue in this little cloud here. Just 
scrub this page, which obviously you can see that it is scrubbed. Um, and after I did the video where I did this page, some people were like, oh, why'd you draw cheese? <laughs> Hide a secret message, and I did that, but I'm not gonna tell you where it is. These are all girls trading secrets, except for this one, because she's the one who's left out. I don't know why I decided to make it sad, but I did. <laughs> Oh, this is sad. Okay, sleep with the journal. I decorated this on camera and then I was like, yeah, I'll sleep with it and then I'll show you guys what happens. I never actually got around to doing that, but I will because I should. This cloud is just supposed to be where I write down my dream that night or what happened, whatever, and I will do that eventually. But that's the only thing that's going to change is that there's going to be writing in here once I get around to it. Close the journal, write scribble on the edges. I did, I wrote, what did I write? Sorry, I can't even remember what I, oh, I wrote wreck this journal. <laughs> so original. This is a weird page. I don't know why I decided to do this weird collage thing. I never do that because I'm not very good at it, obviously. Um, stain log, here's another food page. Yeah, they all ended up looking very yellow over time, but other than that, um, it's fine. This was originally raspberry jelly, so it was like red. It was like he was eating a jelly sandwich and there are like jelly stains on his face and on his shirt. It was really cute. It still is cute, but it's not red anymore. It's like really faded. I don't know where this stain came from. I just noticed it one day, like the yin yang thing. If you see where I'm going with that, eh, anyway. This is usually tied together, but I untied it for some reason. But it's usually in a bow so that these pages are attached. Okay, this page I think is cute, but the only thing that bothers me is that I use marker for these paisleys and it bled through and ah! I was never really a fan of this page, the W page. I just could never get a good idea for it. Collect dead bugs. I am not about to do that. I am not about to put actual dead bugs in my book. I'm sorry. I just, I, I cannot. But I did kind of honor the directions because I drew dead bugs. Drum on this page with pencils, which I did, and then kind of looked like funfetti, so I did like this whole cake theme. Float this page. I love this page. My, I drew this mermaid. Freeze this page. I did do that. And of course I drew Elsa. Oh uh, yeah, this is eh, meh, meh. Don't really like this page, but whatever. Sell this page. These are the lines to who I'm supposed to sell it to. I'm not actually going to rip it out. I'm just going to sign ownership away because I'm too attached to it at this point. Turn the book into a shoe. Mm, I think this page could have been better. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so critical, I know. Slide the journal down a long hallway. I drew a long hallway here. Oh, I love this page. I did this page so early on, but I think it's still really cute. I smushed uh, raspberries and strawberries here. That's why there's a really ugly stain. And then I came up with these little characters, Raz Betty and Straw Becky, the strawberry girl and the raspberry girl. Green tea. Cover this page in tape. I don't think I did this properly. Um, create some kind of pattern. I didn't really create a pattern, but I used pattern tape. <laughs> And trace your toes. This is a really weird looking page because you can't tell that it's toes because I was wearing socks. I don't know. And the last page completed June 19th, 2016, which was just a little while ago. So yeah. Okay, well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I just want to say that this book does say that all the instructions are open to interpretation. So that means you can put your own spin on the instructions if you want to, and I have done that in several places in this book. I'm not really interested in destroying a book or being destructive and 
really full out wrecking anything. Um, I'm more interested in like the creative side of it. Uh, that's just what I find to be more fun and honestly I don't see any problem with that. Anyway, just to put that out there, I will be coming out with a side-by-side -side flip through of this Wreck This Journal and my old Wreck This Journal at the same time. It's going to be the first time that I've looked through that journal in a long time so you'll be getting my first reaction to my old pages in a while um, versus my new Wreck This Journal so it should be interesting um but yeah look out for that that'll be posted in the next couple days so yeah see you guys